Recently, I have been hospitalized several times for issues with my pancreas, feeding tube complications, and a bowel obstruction. After six weeks of trying repeatedly to use my feeding tube, it failed every time. After my recent hospitalization, I go to my primary care doctor. She tells me if I cannot use my feeding tube, I should have it removed. She does not give me any further instructions. The appointment ends. I have so many questions. Who should I contact to have the feeding tube removed? I do not have a local GI doctor. My GI doctor is almost 400 miles away. I do not have an appointment with him for another five weeks. Can I wait five weeks to have the feeding tube removed? I'm in so much pain. I don't think I can wait that long. I saw a surgeon while hospitalized at a nearby hospital. Can he remove the feeding tube? It would be much more convenient to have the feeding tube removed locally than to have to drive 400 miles. I ponder all these questions. I feel so lost. I'm in an excruciating amount of pain. The feeding tube is causing my intestines to spasm. Since getting the feeding tube, I can no longer eat solid food. All food must be pureed. And even pureed food is causing significant GI issues. So many thoughts and questions swirl through my head. I wish someone would give me answers. I sit in my room, desperate for help. I look through my recent discharge paperwork from the hospital. The surgeon I saw while in the hospital made a note on my paperwork. I could follow up with him in the clinic. The telephone number is included on my discharge instructions. I pick up the phone and ring the doctor's office. No one answers. I am redirected to another office. The second office then transfers me to another office. The third office tells me I need to contact the surgeon's office. She places me on hold. She reaches out to the surgeon's office, but the office is closed. The receptionist tells me she will send a note to the surgeon's nurse asking the nurse to call me back to make the appointment. I hang up the phone. I wait and wait. No one calls me back. I have a feeling no one is going to call me back. Time passes. My phone never rings. When the local surgeon's office does not call me back, I pray to God and ask what I should do. I suddenly am reminded of the surgeon at the medical center 400 miles away who placed my feeding tube. I remember I never had my post-surgery follow-up appointment. The appointment had to be canceled because I was in the hospital. I find the surgeon's phone number and call. When the receptionist answers the phone, she pulls up the doctor's schedule. I am asked the reason for the appointment. I state I had surgery and need to make a follow-up appointment. The receptionist tells me the doctor has an appointment on Friday. I look at the calendar. Today is Wednesday. I ask the receptionist, Friday? As in this Friday? The receptionist says yes. I sit in dumb silence. When I made my original follow-up appointment with the surgeon, it was a two-month wait for the follow-up appointment. A nurse was able to intervene and schedule me appointment sooner because I was having so many issues with my feeding tube. But today, I can get an appointment which is just two days away. I cannot believe it. I eagerly agree to the appointment. When I hang up the phone, I nearly start crying. I am so happy. I would have been so lost and confused what I should do, but now I have an appointment to see the GI surgeon. He should be able to tell me what I should do regarding my feeding tube. Furthermore, if he agrees my feeding tube should be removed, 
he can lead me on the path to getting it removed. My life has been so rocky lately. Everything has seemed as though it has been a dead end. A feeding tube was supposed to solve my issues with not being able to eat. Instead, the feeding tube has worsened my symptoms and has caused even more GI complications. It can be so easy to be worn down by health challenges. When all doors seem to be closed, God can suddenly provide a way. It is times like these in which I thank God for his abundant love. I thank God for hearing prayer and for answering in a favorable way. I still do not know what the future holds, but my heart and mind are at rest knowing God is helping me. Thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe down below. I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week. Bye-bye.